Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Tiger Shark 9500 pound winch. I've had it for going on about three years now. A little disclaimer, it does come on and off of my truck. It's on a platform that goes into a two inch hitch, so it's not on full time. So if you're looking for a review as far as weather and how weather affects it, this is not the review for you. As far as general use, this is what we're going to be talking about today. Um, like I said, it's on a platform that I can lift on and off of the truck. So when it's not in use, I'm not hunting or camping. I take it off and store it in the garage, just trying to get some longevity out of it. Uh, the winch itself's held up pretty good. Um, a couple of things I've put it through, um, I've pulled a couple Jeeps that have been framed out. I've been framed out and pulled myself out. And I've also had the truck in, underwater up to here, so the winch was fully underwater. And while I was underwater, I opened the cap and engaged the winch. Uh, the only thing that happened from that is my disengage that you turn and twist to disengage the actual winch to pull it in and out freely to free spool. Uh, it no longer functions. As you can see, it's supposed to be disengaged right now and you can't pull it out. So, all in all, the winch is held up pretty good. It's probably a little more than what I needed for the truck and it's pretty heavy with this uh, steel uh, cable on there. And I know I could go out to synthetic, but this is a $350 winch and it gets the job done for now. So we're going to kind of go over a couple of the parts of the winch and I'm going to show you guys how it operates and how to work different functions of it. So we're going to set up the other car and we'll be right back. Okay, so we moved the car. We're going to kind of talk about some components of the winch and the winch's accessories. Uh, it comes with, you know, obviously the winch, but also this control. So you can control it from anywhere. Uh, typically I put the hood up on the car. I have it fully up and I, uh, I, I use this from inside the cab as I'm sitting in the truck holding the brake because it will pull both cars. So this cord's about 10 feet I'd say, I'm 6'2", about 10 feet. So we're going to plug that in and we're going to show you what that looks like. As you can see you have three prongs but you also have a little uh, notch right here and there's a notch on this too. So all you got to do is just line that up, which is kind of a pain but it slides right in. And like I've said, I've had this underwater and plugged this in and it still functions perfectly. So the control itself has a little hand wrap and you have forward, you know, out and in. So we're going to put this over the cab of the truck, the hood of the truck. Typically, you would disengage your winch like so and you would pull it out. But since that doesn't work, I'm going to re-engage the winch. I'm going to turn the truck on. I'm going to put my glove on and we're going to walk the winch to the car we're going to be pulling today. function as need be and if you're really in a bind you need a winch, it's better than not having a winch, right? Kind of recap everything you saw us moving the winch and using it. Um, I talked about earlier how the disengage was not functioning uh, and how that happened after I had submerged the entire winch and used it. Um, while we were using the winch to move the car today and give a little presentation, this actually started working uh, intermitt intermittently. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say it's fixed completely. I have put oil in there uh, just to try and you know, make it function a little bit easier. I don't know if that's helped or not, but uh, see, you can see right now, oh no, it is, it's seating. Just kind of going back on the review side of things and how it functions. The winch itself worked fine. A couple of these bolts have backed out over time, but I'm contributing that to doing a lot of off-roading and having a pretty stiff uh, 
suspension uh, lift on this vehicle. Uh, the biggest complaint, which is not really about the winch, is the carrying plate that I have for the winch itself has completely rusted. I painted this thing about five or six times and it just seems to, it just continues to rust and get beat up. The winch itself though, for the value in comparison to a worn winch, I would 100% go with this again. Like I said, it doesn't stay in my vehicle 100% of the time. It's only when I'm going camping, hunting, or fishing, anything outdoors, I think I might need it. Uh, great winch for the money. I'd like to just talk about how I have the winch set up uh, electronically on the truck. Because it's not full time, I just run it through the grill up here. Uh, you can run it underneath and then up, but I like to keep it up and away from the water as much as possible. It's because, you know, we live in Florida and it's pretty muddy. So I have it run through the grill. And back through the light housing here. It goes in between here, comes out on the back side of the lights and connects to my battery. I have its own terminal set up for the negative and the positive. I haven't had any problems with all the LED lights and everything stacked on there. It works perfectly and when you're stuck in the mud, you know, it really doesn't matter how pretty it looks, right? So all in all, I think the, the winch, this, this Tiger Shark winch, 9,500 pounds, is a perfect winch if you're looking to uh, save some money and you really need a winch if you really think you do. Um, honestly, I bought it because I do a lot of off-roading and hunting by myself. And like I said before, I've only used it maybe four times in the three years I've had it, and only once has been for my truck. So, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box below. And have a great day.